Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project was planned in 1998 and construction began in 2009. It was divided into three phases. The first phase was the Kaohsiung City Area Plan, the second phase was the extension to Zhuang Plan, and the third phase was the extension to Fangshan Plan. The project was completed and opened for service in 2018. The first two episodes introduced the evolution of the Kaohsiung Station, the Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project, the third-generation Imperial Crown-style station relocation project, Kaohsiung Station, the Kaohsiung City Area Railway Underground Plan, the Kaohsiung Station Underground Project, the Love River Segment Railway Underground Project, and the new and restored stations in the Kaohsiung City Area Plan. In this episode, we will continue to introduce the extension to Zhuoing Plan, the restored and reconstructed stations in the extension to Zhuoing Plan, the extension to Fangshan Plan, and the new and reconstructed stations in the extension to Fangshan Plan. The planning section of the Kaohsiung Railway Underground Extension to Zhuoing Plan extends from south of Xinzhuoing Station to Baozhen Road. The project includes the construction of a single-bore double-track tunnel approximately 4.13 kilometers in length, the restoration of Neiwei Station, and the underground conversion of the existing Zhuoing Station. The underground station was opened for service in 2018. During the construction period of the railway underground project, in order to serve existing passengers at Zhuoing Station and meet transportation needs, Temporary stations were set up and pedestrian overpasses were installed to connect the platforms of the temporary and permanent stations. Additionally, the two tracks on both sides of the existing island platform were modified into temporary eastbound and westbound mainlines to maintain operations. When the railway underground project reached the gate pier PF01 of the Dajong Road Expressway Interchange, it conflicted with the adjacent bridge pillar of the Taiwan Railways and overlapped with the Zhouzaiyang Canal Irrigation and Drainage Channel. Therefore, underpinning and column replacement methods were employed for construction. The construction steps were as follows. 1. Divert the Zhouzaiyang Canal. 2. Excavate and level the ground. 3. Install new bridge piers. 4. Support brackets for underpinning and stabilization. 5. Replace the bridge pillars. In addition, the permanent track tunnel near Zhonghua First Road conflicted with bridge piers P3R and P4L of the Zhuoing 1 to 1 road viaduct. During construction, to maintain the functionality of the viaduct, underpinning was employed for the bridge piers. The construction steps were as follows 1. Excavation to construct a diaphragm wall, 2. Construction of bearing posts. 3. Installation of temporary tenons. 4. Installation of underpinning slabs. 5. Excavation and installation of supports. 6. Removal of conflicting piles. 7. Construction of tunnel structure. 8. Backfilling and restoration. As for the section of Zhonghua First Road underpass next to the viaduct, to minimize the impact on the existing busy traffic, the pipe roof method was adopted for construction. The construction steps were as follows. 1. Construction of bulkheads for work shafts. 2. Excavation of work shafts and installation of supports. 3. Pipe roof construction. 4. Ground improvement. 5. Excavation and support within the utility pipeline. 6. Utility pipeline tunnel structure. 7. Work shafts tunnel structure. 8. Backfilling and restoration of work shafts. Zhuoing Station, located on Suehua Road in Zhuoing District, was originally named Joqing Station. It is situated in one of the earliest developed areas in the Kaohsiung metropolitan area. In 1899, the Japanese government actively pursued railway construction, and in 1900, the railway line from Tainan to Kaohsiung was opened, with the establishment of Jioqing Station in Zhuoing. After the retrocession, it was renamed Zhuoing Station in 1949. Its main function is to alleviate passenger traffic of Kaohsiung Station. To accommodate the progress of the railway underground project, 
The station relocated to a temporary station building for operation in 2013. In 2018, in conjunction with the completion of the Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project, the newly constructed underground station building at the original site was completed and opened for service. Simultaneously, the station name was appended with the locality name Jioqing. Subsequently, the temporary station was dismantled. Zhuowing Station was originally a first-class station but was downgraded to a simple station after the opening of Zinzhuowing Station. It only serves local and fast local trains. There are three schools near the station, Xingli Elementary School, Dai Junior High School, and Kaohsiung American School. Additionally, there are two first-class historical sites, Chiwen Gate and Fangyi Gate, which bear witness to the historical development of Kaohsiung City and the intact remains of the city walls. Zhuowing Station is a two-level underground station, with the ground floor serving as the entrance and exit, the first underground floor as the concourse level, and the second underground floor as the platform level, featuring two side platforms. The architectural design of Zhuowing Station resembles an open jewelry box, evoking memories of the ancient city. It integrates the imagery of the surrounding ancient city walls, transforming the station into a gateway to the Kaohsiung metropolitan area. Therefore, the design theme of the station is titled Ancient Walls, New Canals. The elements of ancient city memories are intricately woven into the main architectural design of the station, resembling the opening of a jewelry box of memories and narrating the old stories of the ancient city. Integrating the historical context of the surrounding ancient city, the station is transformed into a gateway to the Kaohsiung metropolitan area. During the design process, three elements, wind, light, and water, were introduced to create a vibrant atmosphere, shaping the station into a breathing city wall filled with light and greenery. Neiwei Station is located on Suihua Road in Gushin District. Due to the proximity to the newly established Museum of Fine Arts Station, efforts were made to increase the distance between the two stations. Therefore, during the restoration, the station was relocated approximately 900 meters northward. Nearby, there are St. Paul's High School, Goofing Park, and Naiwebi Cultural Park. The Naiwebi Cultural Park is the largest irrigation pond wetland in Kaohsiung, created to preserve the natural environment and provide habitat for wildlife. Neiwei Station is a two-level underground station, with the ground floor serving as the entrance and exit, the first underground floor as the concourse level, and the second underground floor as the platform level, featuring two side platforms. The station design incorporates the imagery of an arc-shaped dense forest as its wall motif, with the addition of landscaped wetlands to convey the regional landscape of meandering water and wind-filled ponds. Zinzuoing Station is located on Zhanqian North Road in Zhuoing District. It was established to accommodate the development of the high-speed rail project, combining the Metro R16 station and the new Zhuoing Station for the Taiwan Railways. This creates a station with the integration of three railway systems. Due to the pre-existence of a similarly named station on the Taiwan Railways, Zhuoing Station, the new station was named Zinzuoing. Zinzuoing Station was opened in December 2006. It was established to accommodate the scheduling and departure requirements of trains bound for the Pingdong Line and the South Link Line after the undergrounding of Kaohsiung Station. To meet these needs, a new platform and classification yard were added, which were completed and opened for service in 2010. Zinzuoing Station is a four-level above-ground station. The third and fourth floors house the Global Mall, which features a food court and shopping area. The second floor serves as the Taiwan Railway's concourse level and connects to the Zuoing High-Speed Rail Station. Passengers must pass through the ticket gates on the second floor to access the ground-level platform area. The first floor serves as the entrance and exit as well as the platform level. The Kaohsiung Railway Underground Extension to Fangshan Plan involves the section from Jingyi Road to the east side of Daji Overpass. The project includes the construction of a single-bore double-track tunnel approximately 4.28 kilometers in length, the establishment of Jingyi Station, 
and the underground conversion of the existing Fangshan station. The underground station was opened for service in 2018. During the construction of the railway underground project, it was essential to maintain normal train operations, akin to changing clothes while wearing them. This undertaking was exceedingly challenging. Due to one side being closely adjacent to the railway with 25,000 volts of high-voltage electricity overhead, and the other side being tightly bordered by residential houses, there was no room for error during construction. Workers faced extreme danger operating in such tight spaces, especially considering that much of the work could only be done at night when train operations ceased. This presented a significant challenge for the construction personnel, making the process incredibly difficult and perilous. In the Fangshan area, the railway originally passed through the urban area on the surface, with many cross-traffic land bridges. During the excavation of the railway underground project, conflicts often arose with these land bridges. Since it was necessary to maintain normal traffic flow on the land bridges until the underground work was completed, and to ensure the smooth progress of the underground project, the underpinning method was employed. This method transfers the load of the bridge elsewhere before demolishing its original foundation. With the load of the bridge transferred, its functionality can be maintained, allowing vehicles and pedestrians to continue using the land bridges as usual. During the extension to Fangshan Plan, construction passed through the Dishun Bridge and the Zichyang Bridge, employing the underpinning method. While this construction was underway, drivers and pedestrians using the land bridges might not have been aware of the challenges faced by the construction teams. The construction crews worked with apprehension and worry, even losing sleep at night, concerned about any potential issues with the load transfer. For the engineering personnel involved, it was yet another significant challenge to overcome. The design of Fangshan Station incorporates the cultural and industrial concepts symbolizing Fangshan. It integrates the historical corridor nurtured by the Chaogong Canal, which has sustained the development of Fangshan city area, and plans for a green corridor environment. Large green spaces are integrated into the station area, providing citizens with a place to relax and unwind. The Chaogong Canal was constructed during the Qing Dynasty, in the era of Emperor Daoguang, as a solution to drought-related disasters. It was excavated by Chao Jin, the magistrate of Fangshan at that time. The canal is a vital waterway in the Fangshan area, nurturing the growth of Fangshan and ensuring its continuous development. With the development of Fangshan Station, the Chaogong Canal has been integrated into the station area, accompanied by green spaces on both sides, forming a historical corridor that represents Fangshan's history and heritage. In the past, exiting through the north gate of Fangshan Old City meant heading north towards Tainan. As the station serves as an important gateway to the city, the symbolism of this gate is particularly significant. Therefore, the design of Fangshan Station incorporates the imagery of the North Gate, while also incorporating the concept of city walls. Fani Academy is an important historical monument in Fangshan. The design of Fangshan Station adopts the concept of the swallowtail roof of the academy, ensuring that the skyline of the city remains harmonious and incorporating it as a distinctive feature of Fangshan District. The top floor of Fangshan Station is designed as a sky auditorium, with a welcoming skywalk running through the middle of the rooftop solar panels. Walking along this skywalk provides panoramic views of the green corridors of Kaohsiung, the earliest cityscape of Zhuoing, and a distant view of Kaohsiung Port. Fangshan Station is located on Chaogong Road in Fangshan District. It was established as Fangshan Station in 1907, serving initially as a transportation hub for agricultural products and military purposes. Due to increased demand, the station was expanded in 1990, primarily serving commuters. In order to accommodate the Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project, the old station building needed to be demolished and a temporary station was constructed. The new station was inaugurated in October 2018, along with temporary track switching operations. Subsequently, the temporary station was dismantled. 
Fangshan Station is the third largest station in Kaohsiung City, following Kaohsiung Station and Xinzuoing Station. Nearby, there are several schools including Wenhua Elementary School, Chaogong Elementary School, Fangshan Elementary School, and Fangshan Senior High School. Fangshan Station is a two-level underground station. The ground floor serves as the concourse level, the first underground floor is the passage level, and the second underground floor is the platform level, featuring two island platforms. The design of Fangshan Station resembles the imagery of the ancient gate of Fangshan, recreating the lost north gate of Fangshan Old City. It is complemented by the swallowtail roof design, similar to that of Fangyi Academy, creating an ambience of Fangshan in the sky. Jingyi Station is located on Jingyi Road in Lingya District. It is a newly established underground railway station as part of the Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project, which is also designated as a station for the future yellow line of the Kaohsiung Metro. The Taiwan Railway's Jingyi Station was inaugurated in October 2018. Nearby, there are Baoyi Flood Detention Park and Jingyi Park, providing residents with recreational areas for exercise and relaxation. Jingyi Station is a three-level underground railway station. The ground floor serves as the entrance and exit, the first underground floor is the concourse level, and the second underground floor houses the Taiwan Railway's platforms, featuring two side platforms. The station design features symmetric entrances unique to the Jingyi area, resembling two mountains. Due to dense population in the area, Jingyi Station is the only one among the seven underground railway stations to have two entrance and exits. The architectural design draws inspiration from a surfboard, with smiling curves and roof lines creating a unique landmark. On the southern side of the station, there is a mural titled Calling created by artist Leho Artwork, adding vibrant colors to the community and complementing the ambience of Jingyi Station. The Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project was completed and opened to traffic in 2018, with only surface works remaining. With the completion of the Railway Underground Project, seven level crossings and 16 elevated intersections were eliminated, seamlessly reconnecting north and south traffic in Kaohsiung. Alongside the Underground Railway construction, seven new stations were added, complementing the Kaohsiung Metro and Light Rail systems, expanding the public transportation network in Kaohsiung and alleviating congestion in the city center. The Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project was an immense undertaking, requiring simultaneous construction while maintaining normal train operations, akin to changing clothes while wearing them. Challenges were particularly daunting during the underground construction of the Love River Tunnel segment, relocation of the Imperial Crown-style old station, underground construction of the Kaohsiung station, extension plans in Zhuoing and Fangshan, among others. However, the construction teams, with their professionalism and extensive experience, worked tirelessly day and night to overcome all obstacles. Their efforts successfully transformed Kaohsiung into a more comfortable urban living environment. As we enjoy the convenience of transportation, we should express sincere gratitude to all the subway heroes who participated in this project.